snows have arrived. Mel and Brad size things up on big snow speck and duck combos while I'm watching a smaller hunt we have to pull the pin on. Rain sets up Mel for a double hunt while the rest of the team and I scramble to get Brad's hunters fed and over to Mel and then bring Mel's guys some hot food to the field. What a day. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. So it's Sunday, I would say it would be our big day of snow goose influx for sure. Um, we got a lot here yesterday. We had a good strong wind. I don't know or if it's just that time of year too. They usually show up right around now, but it's usually that one day where you go, whoa, okay, they're here now. Well, they're here now. And um, just looking in that flock there, just the juvie numbers look all right too. There's, some, there's a bunch of grays in there, maybe even one to one. We got lots of specks, lots of snows. Hunting should be good here, so we'll see. Well, I was out of the field already. I was just uh, going down the road to head to the next hunt and about 1,500 birds for sure came off the roost. Went directly into the feed, so that's a heck of a good sign. They're imprinted in here. They're, they're coming off and going right in. They're not swirling around. They're not looking. They're not doing nothing. They're going directly in. When you got that kind of situation, you know you're going to get a big influx of birds right off the get-go in the morning. Ducks, the, the, they come a little later, it seems like lately, but uh, if everything goes good, you should have your geese real fast. Uh, if they come in like that, you will have them real fast. But like I said before, stuff can happen throughout the night. We're still a long ways from dark, so until we get in that last half an hour, all kinds of stuff could go sideways. Yeah, so there's there's a few hundred geese in there. There, there are a bunch of little ones in there, so you know, when you're watching a hunt like this, if you don't have good optics and you drive by and you go, wow, there's 300 geese in there, awesome. But it's important to have a look because a couple hundred little ones doesn't do you a lot of good. It can be over real quick, you know, by 50 minutes after legal light, those things all come in, boom, 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 a couple big clumps and it, it's over. So I'm just watching now to see if this would be a, even a potential afternoon option or a morning option. For morning option, we like to have a bunch of ducks in there too because we have a thousand mallards mixed in with this. You shoot your 40 ducks, you kill five or six geese, you still have had a great hunt, you know? But uh, I'm gonna grab this call. We got Brad calling right now. Hey, Brad. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Hey, so, so I talked to Mel. Yeah. I think we should do that one. I mean, it sounds like he's got four or 5,000 darks. Yeah. 4,000 snows enough ducks he thinks to get it done and they're all together yeah I do, yeah what do you uh yeah. what are you feeling good or do you want me to stay oh. here oh yeah wow yeah what's in there again oh it's loaded with everything snows well i mean i don't know how many specs there's some specs and ducks are just crazy in there right now coming from the heavens so my my 400 canadas with little ones and 100 ducks definitely just got trumped by by you and Mel. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll text the guys. It looks like it's Mel and Brad, and then the rest of us will stand by. Cool. All right, good stuff. Thanks, Bye. Brad. Bye. Bye. Wow. Pretty rare we're uh, not scrambling to the last few minutes, and it's not over. It's only 6.43. Anything can go wrong, you know. They both have snows. They both have specks. They both have ducks. So if we get rain and it's cold front and it's spitting all day, a hunt like this will still be over in an hour in the morning, hour and a half. Those guys, 
can sit there and chip away until one o'clock and still shoot snow geese until who knows what time, even if they kill all their all their darks and all their ducks, so they can sit and that may be very well be their the only the only hunt those guys do tomorrow, which is always a concern when we end up with some precipitation on its way. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So if we have to, we'll just watch this one. I'll get more intel. We'll hunt this one on uh, on Tuesday morning. Uh, we're out here this morning. It's windy and it's cold. It dropped about 20 degrees last night right around dark. We got a little bit of snow overnight, nothing on the ground, but definitely colder and it's windy. It's probably 30K an hour or better. So uh, my plans on using Silosox kind of has changed. I've gone with mostly full bodies. I got a few Silosox to break up the white suits. It's a good hunt. Got ducks, specks, snows. Yeah, should be good. Uh, definitely they should be hungry this morning. It's cold, so I'll let you know at 9.30. Well, we're all set up. It went good. Uh, we still got about 10 minutes left, I think, so it's perfect. We got a nice big uh, main body with a couple of long legs running up onto some hills and stuff. Everything looks good. Wind is awesome. Uh, lights are starting to come on, so we're going to uh, get everything else ready and uh, get the trucks out of here. We've already had a few specks in already in the dark. So that's a good sign. Uh, the guys are excited there already. So th these birds have been here for five days all together. And it's built up into pretty big numbers. We had numbers, on, big numbers Saturday, but now we're probably three times as big. So I'm thinking we're gonna be real good. Get down, guys. It's killable. Get on them. Get right back down, boys. Okay, if this single comes, kill it. Kill it. Any ducks, unless you got snow geese approaching, shoot them. Snow geese in front, I believe. Kill them. Some of these are snows. Kill them, guys. There's all kinds of ducks, but are they going to be able to get in? Yeah, we'll let them get right in. Watch for Canada. Kill them! We need some snows to come and do that. Lay still. Kill them! Get down, boys. Well, they're hearing a shoot. That's what's going. That's what's going on. There's nothing you can do about that. Kill them, guys. Pick the white one. Okay, get down again. Kill him, guys, kill him. So, I mean, all in all, a really good hunt. Uh, just gonna try to clean up the specs here, make a little adjustment, put some more of the silo socks in around our blinds. I think maybe they're seeing us, so. Try that and get back in and chip away. It's still early, so we can get her done. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be good.
Ready? Ready? Go guys, go, go, go! Ready boys, get ready. Go guys, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Right there, right there. Go guys, straight up, go, go. There we go. Go, 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 go. There we go. Straight up. There we go. Here we go, boys. Here we go. There we go. Go, guys. Go, 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 go. So we ended up getting our ducks. Pretty short order this morning, lots of ducks here. Uh, I think we ended up with 19 specs. So they're short six on the spec limit, but uh, no, it was good. Uh, specs went a little later in the day and the light got up, the specs didn't really want to do it. So we chipped away at, what, if we got four cans and a snow too. So good hunt all in all. We got, uh, What's that? 60, 60 some birds? 60 some birds, yeah. The young guys shot well. A couple young guys on the shoot. So, a couple new new guys haven't been here. So, no, it was good. Uh, we're gonna just pack up here and get in for lunch and then uh, see what we got in store for the afternoon. All right, so kind of a crazy morning here. Mel went out, ended up with uh, all of his specs, all of his ducks. I don't think he's got any Canada's. Brad ended up with, I think, 18 specs, four Canada's, all his ducks. And all of Mel's snows ended up in the other quarter of the half that he has permission on. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do this big shuffle where we're gonna take these five guys that hunted with Brad this morning Mel and the hunters he has now is gonna they're gonna move the rig over, so tear it down, move it over. These guys are gonna eat real quick. We're gonna get some road meals for the other guys, bring them over, all 10 of them are gonna hunt a snow goose hunt. It's just a monster, and it's probably our best option for this afternoon. Most amount of trigger time. Otherwise, they can only go out and kill 16 geese, darts, and that's the only snow goose option. And they're short some specs, so they can go out and shoot the rest of their specs in the snow rig. So hopefully it works. If it does, great. It should, uh, and Mel did say the geese went back to the roost, so we had a tight window of opportunity to get the rig set up and uh, and get them back in there. So I gotta go, I really gotta go. Smack down on them. It's a great morning. We got old Mel, got him in close. It was a great time. I can't, I mean, we got no complaints. We shot snows, we shot ducks. We could have killed 300 specs. I mean, it was unreal. Just the show, killing all those birds and then watching the specs literally just hover right above our faces. It was incredible. It was awesome. We're pulling out of here. I'm going across the road and reset. 
We're uh, got five more hunters coming, and we're gonna stick it out for the rest of the day and try and get them some snow geese. And they need a few more specks. We should have no problem. So yeah, we're moving approximately three quarters of a mile, but we got a lot of birds moving, and it's it's gonna be a feed day all day. So we got to really motor. Well. I brought food. All right. There's some great guys in here. There's dessert, uh, food, make sure we get those back, and bread for the homemade bread for the, I don't know what it is, but it's good. Coffee is good. It's hot, it's good. It might not be that hot. Well, I think we're about ready to join another hunt here. Going for some snows, I think. We had a good shoot this morning, and Claudio loaded us up and said, on to the next one. So here we are. Little, little bit of chaos. We changed fields, brought some more hunters in. We got all set up. All the guys from camp brought lunch. Uh, give me a hand setting up. We're ready to go. We're just getting rid of vehicles and these guys are going to start shooting, so we got to get out of here. Get down, boys. Kill them. Just wait till he gets right in. Kill him. You're going to be covered up with specs. You have no idea. It's unbelievable. We could, I'll bet we'd have shot 400 this morning, easy. As long as this hawk will get out of here. Kill him! Well, now all we can shoot is snows in Little Canada. Uh, we limited out in specs again, so with the new group. So now we're on to snows in Little Canada. Everybody's done their ducks, everybody's done their specs. Now we need some bonus snows. Pull your hoods up, guys. Kill them. Just make sure you're covered up, good boys. Kill him. There you go. Get right back down, guys. Kill him. Yeah, yeah, stay down, guys. Yeah. But I wish they'd catch up to one another. Get ready, guys. Kill them, guys. And we got another one. Get right. Load and get right back down. Yeah, I got one right beside me too. Yeah, you better get down or we want these two to come in. As soon as they come around, boys. Kill them. Birds out front. Kill him, kill him, kill him! Get ready, guys. Hey, get ready. I think these are snows.
go. Lock and load. These ones might come right in without circling, I hope. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Got some more thinking about it. Put another shell in. Give her. Well, that was a, a wonderful day. Got a little chilly there at the end, but can't complain about that. Awesome. It was a great day. I'm colder than cold, but but we're we're done. Uh, we tr changed fields, set up two monster rigs today, and the birds did it. I mean, the, tonight we didn't get the influx I thought we would, but the ones that did come did it. And the guys shot good. One volley, I don't know, they had 10, 12, I don't know. There was a lot. I'm glad we could pull it off like this today. The guys were kind of stuck for a good hunt uh, tonight. I feel like we got it done. I feel, you know, I, a sense of accomplishment. We got it done. We, we made the right decisions. We, we, we moved when we needed to move. Uh, it would have been great to move an hour before that, but we hadn't made that plan yet, so. But yeah, we, we got it done. Yeah, Jay and, and Claudio come and give me a hand. Uh, brought the guys some lunch. Yeah, it, that's just the team, right? Yeah, it, it worked out good, real good. And it'll be interesting to count how many birds we got tonight. I, I, I'm sure we're around that 50 mark, so nothing wrong with that. <laughs>